What's up guys, this is Jorge Yao back with another video. Now in this video, I want to give you guys a nice tutorial of a new website that's out. Uh, for, for those of you who are familiar with the uh, Clash of Clans Builder website, uh, this website is the same from the same makers. It's called ClashRoyaleDeckBuilder.com. Now I want to give you guys a quick tutorial of it because I, th I just think it's awesome. Uh, for those of you guys who've used the, uh, their other site, the uh, Clash of Clans Builder, you guys know what I'm talking about. So this, uh, this website, it's still in progress, uh, you know, it's still kind of in the works. They're still adding new features and everything else, but right now as it stands, it, it works pretty well. Uh, so let me go ahead and go through some of the cool things that they have. So obviously you want to create your own uh, account first. So you know I created my account already. Uh, you know, so you have a deck builder, create new decks, uh, list latest decks, uh, card info, so you can show all cards. So it's kind of like a mini wiki too. So you can go ahead and search through all these cards that uh, you know are on the uh, the game itself and kind of look at the information and so on and so forth. So that's something that's really cool about it. Um, and then, but let's jump ahead and go into the actual deck building part of it. So here you can see latest uh, Clash Royale decks. You can filter by offensive, defensive, control, and then TV Royale are you know decks that have been used or featured in the TV Royale feature in game. Uh, so these are the types of decks that uh, you can filter. You can filter by average uh, elixir cost for the deck, and then the arena as well. So let's go ahead and create a deck. So average elixir cost, it shows you that. You can filter by rarity, type, elixir cost, arena, all these cool little features. So let's go ahead and choose some random cards. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the cards right now. But there you go. I chose five, uh, eight different cards. Excuse me. And there you go. And so you want to name your deck title. So for the sake of this video, I'll name it uh, Clash Royale Deck Builder Tutorial. Select deck type, so you want to select whether this is an offensive deck, deck, so something where, you know, you would just be very offensive and kind of go straight to the face and, you know, take down towers as quick as possible. Defensive deck, you know, something where you play very defensive and then you wait for your opportunity to uh, make your move. Control is a balance between the two. Uh, and then, you know, TV Royale is a deck that's been featured in the uh, actual TV Royale tab in game. Now, I'll just select this as offensive. Uh, so deck guide, this is the most important part of this, uh, this website and this feature when you're creating a deck. So in here, there's a little tooltip that shows you, you may want to integrate the following subjects in your deck guide. Strengths, weaknesses, alternative cards, counter strategies, card level dependencies, and specific strategies. Now this is extremely, extremely important, guys. When you're building a deck and you want high ratings and you want people to rate your deck, uh, you know, since there's only a limited amount of cards, you know, putting eight cards together and saying this is your deck doesn't really give it justification. You want to explain to basically anyone who's looking at your deck exactly how it's used, you know, in what circumstances uh, you would play which cards, um, what kind of sort of combos that you're looking for, what you're waiting for, you know, what's your ideal elixir in terms of like, you know, uh, let's say you have a golem and, you know, you don't want to exactly play it right now, uh, you know, how, why, why, the big question is why, um, you know, when you get to the one minute mark where you have two times the elixir, you know, what you're holding out for. So this part is really your guide for explaining how the deck is used, how it's played, um, and how it's not played. Uh, and most importantly, too, also, not everyone, you got to keep in mind, not everyone has the same cards that you may have. So, uh, you know, any sort of substitutions, for instance, let's say, uh, you know, Golem, you have, I have a Golem here. Now, not many people may have Golem. So maybe, you know, you put in the description, you know, instead of Golem, you can substitute for Giant Skeleton, or you can do Barbarians, or, you know, whatever. Uh, but that, that gives the... Uh, the whoever's looking at the car the deck uh, a good idea of how to use the deck how to play the deck and it's just you know it, it just makes it a lot better and a lot more smooth and that lends for better comments and also it makes it so that people upvote your uh, your deck a lot higher so I'll go into that in a little bit so right now I just put uh, put some placeholder stuff put your deck strategy info here so I'll save my deck. Boom, my deck has been saved. So once my deck has been saved, you can see, you know, list latest decks. 
and boom, Clash Royale deck builder tutorial. Offensive, Arena 6, cost is 5 elixir on average, and these are the cards. Now you can see, uh, you know, there's a comment section where people can comment on, you know, hey, and basically ask questions for you. Uh, you know, what do I do in this strategy? A lot of the common questions that you'll probably see is, you know, if is it better to use this or is it better to use that? Or in my opinion, you know, I think this is better or that is better. You know, it's a great opportunity to to kind of foster discussion amongst the community on, you know viable options and also like substitutions too like oh you know I don't have the prints what do you recommend for that and then you can respond appropriately so in a lot of these uh, decks you know uh, and there you go your rating right there again this is an ongoing uh, progression in terms of the website it's gonna get better and better so um, it might not be based off of five-star rating it could be upvotes down the road and then you can filter by uh, you know decks that have the most upvotes or the most votes so uh, in order to do that though you have to have a very very strong description of how you use your deck um, so if I go back to home and I look at some other cards you know a lot of these cards to use this deck you must constantly push your opponent so that you know that's a pretty good you know description however um, it needs to be elaborated on a little bit right this deck helped me get to arena 4 do not attempt to use the strategy past arena 4 this deck is cheap and allows you to span troops fast and Flood your enemy. So yeah, it gives you a good basis of how to use the deck. However, it doesn't deep dive into you know more intricate strategy. Like in terms of uh, this is the combo that I try to do use. Like maybe tombstone or uh, tombstone mixed with whatever. Or whenever you see, maybe you save your arrows for you know the goblin barrel if the enemy uh, has one or something like that. So the more detail you put in it, the better uh, the deck kind of presents itself and the higher rating that you'll get so I'll keep this short uh, I think that this site is awesome it's an ongoing process um, but it's already you know a lot of people are using it and I I'm certainly loving it so uh, there you guys go um, short tutorial on on this uh, new website it's called Clash Royale deck builder .com from the makers of Clash of Clans builder so um, this is Jorge Yao. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.